South Korea's government said all 11 peace-themed hiking trails along the demilitarized zone, separating the two Koreas, will be open to the public starting April 21st. The DMZ, measuring about 250 kilometers long and 4 kilometers wide, is one of the world's most heavily fortified borders, with the rival Koreas technically in a state of conflict, as the 1950-1953 Korean War ended in a truce, not a peace treaty. The program offers a unique opportunity for tourists to reflect on the meaning of freedom and peace while learning about the ecological, cultural and historical values of the area from experienced guides. The main opposition Democratic Party decided to push for expanding the $0.77 breakfast project for college students with municipal funds. Under the plan, the DP plans to provide meals worth $3 on average for the price $0.77 to college students for breakfast, by making the government pay $0.77 and the schools pay the rest. DP will consider expanding the project for young adults who are not enrolled in college or work at industrial complexes. The ruling People Power Party and the government agreed to temporarily hold off raising electricity and gas bills, but reaffirmed that rate hikes are inevitable. The decision was made in a policy consultation meeting amid concerns that a hike in utility fees may add on to economic burdens on the people amid high inflation and an economic slowdown. <laughs>